Good evening, fellow collectors. April 1st, 2009. And before I do this video, I just want to comment on my resemblance to Henry Winkler. And that is, I guess it's better than resembling Barry Manilow. Although I do have uh, Barry Manilow schnauzer. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, this will be a short video on something that's been a pet peeve of mine for a long time. And that is sellers who sell autographed reprints of forgeries. That has bothered me for a long time. I will never understand anybody wanting to buy and own a reprint of a forgery. I can understand people who can't afford to buy an original autograph on a baseball or a bat or a photograph or a cap or whatever. But to buy a forgery of a reprint is total lunacy and just ridiculous. So I'm going to expose a few here. This one here is from seller Fan Fest 900. Item number 1302-927-84338. Derek Jeter, Mariano Rivera. The autographs are fake. And on top of that, they're reprints. I mean, these sellers do advertise that they are reprints. But why would you want a reprint of a forgery? If you're going to buy a reprint of anything, buy a reprint of an authentic autograph. This is total lunacy. A lot of people who sell these actually sold forgeries originally in the past. They got caught, and now a lot of them just sell reprints of forgeries, thinking it's not as bad. Well, it is as bad. It's just cheaper to produce, because it costs like 10 or 15 cents to reproduce one of these things. But who the heck buys this kind of garbage? If you're going to buy a reprint of an autograph, buy a reprint of an authentic autograph. That's all. From the same seller, FanFest 900, item number 1302-958-3138. And Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, both of those autographs are forgeries. And of course, they're reprints. Who buys reprinted forgeries on a photograph? You gotta be a moron to do something like that. I mean, it's just total lunacy. I don't get it, but this is my way to vent, so that's what I'm doing. Um, from seller Watermill77429, item number 350-181-416-146. Derek Jeter forgery. Actually, I've seen this particular forgery all over the place uh, being sold as an original, and now people are selling it as a reprinted autograph, and they advertise it as such, but the bottom line is that even though it's cheaper, it's still a forgery. You don't have any bragging rights when you own a reprint of a forgery. Sorry about that. And last, from seller RAQU786. RAQU786. Item number 4000256-10024. Another obvious Derek Jeter forgery. And again, why would you want to own a reprint of a forgery? Why? Because it costs you two ninety five or five ninety five plus shipping, whatever the heck it is. The bottom line is that it's still a forgery. Now tonight, I'm going to respond and reply to Mr. O'Connell's blog on SCD. I posted a comment on T.S. O'Connell's blog, and he did not allow it to post. So since he did that, I'm going to have a reply to him here and uh, talk about what he wrote in his blog. So I will do that in about 20 minutes.